I would say that the only thing you really need to be successful in CS and to be involved with it is to have a genuine passion and an interest for it because that's the one thing we all have in common if we're in computer science or technology in general. It doesn't matter where we're from or what you identify as or where you're trying to go with it. It's just what do you want to devote to this field? So what I love with computer science is kind of the power that it has. Uh, I first realized it as a kid actually playing video games. Somebody made this with like code and that the code had the power to actually create worlds. So I really got into computer science for the first time in my senior year of college. I literally could sit down and start working on this and not eat or sleep and then realize, oh my gosh, it's midnight, I need to go sleep, I need to go to get up tomorrow and do the same thing. I've been at Georgia Tech for 20 years and it's been a great place because all of the fields that I'm interested in, we have tremendous strength in. I think that Georgia Tech actually makes me a lot more of a competitive candidate. And honestly, I feel like the sky's the limit now. I feel like they set you up. Uh, not only is it challenging, but they also uh, are really good at networking, connecting you. The real advantage of being here is the students and the faculty. It really kind of offered what I wanted. It gave me that liberal arts and allowed me to use my creativity and my artistic side, but I also got to use the technical side of my brain and, and really use computing to create and, and educate. Yeah, so uh, being a woman in uh, computer science, it can be challenging. It is interesting, you typically stand out, and that is really scary as I realize that, hey, what I do actually represents a lot. During my undergrad, I started feeling maybe a little lonely that there was no other computer science students there. And the fact that there were so few female faculty as well. But being a woman allows you to have a different perspective, so you bring that to the table. Being a woman in computer science can be helpful, especially because you do have that unique factor. Ultimately, if I have a theorem that I'm explaining to someone who wants to know why that's true, the bias goes away. I think people ultimately will treat you like a computer scientist and like a smart computer scientist and that is going to override any bias that people have. When other people see that then that's when collaboration can really happen. As a program manager uh, I own features within the Xbox team. Uh, we work really really closely with both our design and developer counterparts. My research is getting robots in people's homes such that they can help people and assist people in tasks in their everyday lives. Specifically what I'm looking at is the rapid adoption of of internet and social media in low access regions, specifically in Cuba. In the next 10 years, I have no idea what's going to happen, but that's what makes it really exciting. I anticipate it by not anticipating it. Uh, so Grace Hopper is a yearly conference that basically celebrates women in computing. And so women from all over the world come and it's a great experience because it's so inspiring. You'll show up to the keynote and look around and see 7,000 women in the room and you just feel so empowered and you feel like your community is there. You are so inspired when you get there. There's so many women that are from different places and all share the same passion for computing. So I'm still friends with people that I met my freshman year that I went to Grace Hopper with and I love being in that space. If you get a chance to go to Grace Hopper, you should definitely go. I'm Jess Watson and I'm a woman in computing. I'm Kelly Snyder and I'm a woman in computing. I'm Honey Chavla and I'm a woman in computing. I am Michael Andai and I'm a woman in computing. I'm Dana Randall and I'm a woman in computing. I'm Vivian Chu and I'm a woman in computing. I'm Jennifer Whitlow and I'm a woman in computing. I'm Bistra Dielkina and I'm a woman in computing. If you love computer science, then think, act, and expect as if you belong, because you do. Follow your passion uh, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise that if that's what you love and that's what you want to do, do it. That you can make it, you can absolutely do it.